so in the given problem is asking the load current il so first you find out output voltage then you write kcl and then you will get the load current so if you see here this is a combination of both inverting as well as non inverting so for non inverting v is fine I can write it because minus R1 by R1 into Vs is the output voltage. What about here? I don't know. So I'll take this as Vx. At this point, I'm considering as a x. So the voltage at this point is Vx. Right? Now I'll write the expression for output voltage. This is equal to I'll just add algebraically both the voltages. That is the resultant output voltage due to both inverting and non-inverting voltages so v naught equal to due to inverting the output voltage is minus of r1 by r1 into vs plus due to non-inverting the output voltage is 1 plus r2 by r2 into vx so this is equal to these two gets cancelled, these two gets cancelled. So this is minus Vs plus 2Vx. The output voltage is minus Vs plus 2Vx. Right? Now, I'll write KCL at Vx. KCL at Vx. So, 0 minus Vx by R2 is equal to entering equal to leaving leaving is vx by or vx minus 0 by rl plus vx minus v naught by r2 right then next what I'll do is I'll bring the second term, the whole second term, I'll bring to the left hand side. So what it will become? This will become V naught minus 2Vx. Already minus Vx is there. From left hand from right hand side I got one more Vx. So V V naught minus 2Vx by R2 equal to Vx by Rl, right? So this implies so V naught minus two Vx. If you see here, from here, V naught minus two Vx is nothing but minus Vs because v naught equal to minus vs plus 2vx so v naught minus 2vx equal to minus vs so substitute that so this will become minus vs by r2 is equal to vx by r you see what is the load current load current is nothing but vx by r so load current is nothing but minus vs by r2 so from the options the answer is D.